What's up, Renegade Nation? Before we begin the video, I'd like to give a big shout out to our most recent Patreon supporters DJ Jams, Godolson01, Roof Horse, Nicholas Campbell, Marshall Dunn, Weiss Rose, Disgruntled DM, Samuel Ward, Midnight Wings, George Ramirez, Spalargal, Derek King, Rob Pownall, Barnstormer, Kai Nightingale, Oroxen, and Elijah Moffat. Thank you all very much for your support. And if you want to support us on Patreon, feel free to click the link down below to find out more. We'll see you there. Well, they're only conspiracy theories until they turn out to be true. And then all of a sudden, I mean, let's be honest here. We all we all knew something was going on with uh, with like Epstein and stuff like that. Oh, but nobody said been anything about that shit forever. Yeah, like and, there's some true everything that's widely known, like stereotypical things. There's some truth to it. There's a reason why it exists. It's yes. not just like said for no fucking reason. Well, and then of course there's also uh, there's also um, uh, Harvey Weinstein. I remember hearing stories back in the early 2000s by like Gwyneth Paltrow and people like that saying that they didn't trust themselves around Harvey Weinstein because of how creepy he acted around them. And here's the thing. Harvey Weinstein is like Gwyneth Paltrow's godfather. Are we recording this shit? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we're recording. So for the people out there, I just want to go ahead and lay out something to think about, okay? <laughs> There's truth. And then there are ridiculous statements and ideas from people who are batshit crazy. There are a lot of conspiracy theories that what? are in the middle. Okay, there's the birds have batteries shit, which is absolutely insane. But then there are stuff that, you know, like the massive spy program that nobody believed was a real thing until the facts got laid on MK the table. MKUltra. MK Ultra. I mean, there's so many things out there that you would not believe. Fact is often stranger than fiction. Well, have you ever so, heard of uh, the Black Cube? No, I haven't. The Black Cube is actually uh, the the group that Harvey Weinstein used to silence every all of his detractors. The Black Cube. That sounds creepy as shit. That's like oh. some Hellraiser shit. Well, it, <laughs> well, uh, what they are is they're former Israeli Mossad and intelligence people. And they work for high-profile people for a paycheck, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. What? Okay. What? Regardless of moral standing, so they don't give a shit. Just mercenaries in a different kind of way. Yeah. They go and they threaten people. They what they do? Like the one that scared me the most was Rose McGowan. As crazy as Rose McGowan is, this actually happened, and there's irrefutable proof that that it happened to her. Because multiple news sources found the exact same documentation. Rose McGowan called up this, uh, was contacted by this reporter after she had spouted off about, you know, a potential allegation against Harvey Weinstein. Next thing you know, she's getting a fo over the phone interview by these people, uh, by this uh, one reporter, a woman who she thinks she can trust. And uh, this woman turns out to be one of those operatives working for Black Cube. And she gives over all the information to Black Cube. Black Cube pretty much goes to Rose McGowan's residence and threatens her and tells her if she says anything that they will expose her on drug charges or something like that. And they'll and where they will uh, make the media focus all the attention on her and how these are all the ramblings of some crazy drug-addled woman instead of, you know, I a mean, victim of me, assault. I mean, to me, that's, like, super basic in comparison to a lot of the crazy-ass conspiracy theories Well, out there. no, but that's a conspiracy <clears throat> theory that people had for the longest time. Like the government just straight giving people syphilis on purpose and not telling them about it yeah. to see what it does to them long term? Yeah. African Americans, by the way, impoverished African Americans who were in search of health care, they were getting provided health care in every other way. They just were purposefully given getting these people with syphilis and not treating them telling them that they were good you know if they had like say their appendix need to be taken out or whatever like they took care of them in every other way but they on purpose let them keep syphilis to see how it would affect them yeah and that's just a fact it happened yeah have you ever heard of bpas what bpas 
It's a plastic byproduct. In oh, a lot of, yeah, where it's causing pe- people to go through puberty early and shit. Yeah, like and it also... Co- cancer and causing yeah. men to grow breasts and shit. Yeah, it causes, <clears throat> a, it causes an, over, an overabundance of es- either estrogen or testosterone in the system. No, it's a... Um, it's a chemical that mimics estrogen. Yeah, and yeah. it causes a hormone imbalance. I watched a documentary about that back in the day, and it was like people in Europe that were caught on to it first. Yeah. Because, like, they had nine-year-old girls going through puberty and shit, and they were like, what the and hell? We, and we have it here, too. Yeah. And it's not only that, but it's also the beef industry, too, because of the growth hormones that they put in oh, beef. Oh, yeah. And then they slaughter the cows, and who eats the, who eats the beef from the well, cows? Bro. And this is terrifying to me because I lived off McDonald's and shit when I was growing up. Same here. Look, and mad cow disease, we may have it and not know yet because it like has some latency period yeah. where it will just like fucking get you later on. So that's not even really a conspiracy. That's a fact. But yeah. That, these all get slapped with the label conspiracy theory and put on a shelf with the way outside the box crazy shit that don't make no damn sense. And then, like, it's fucking proven to be true later, and people were always putting it on this shelf. It's like, you know, if it sounds like some absolutely batshit, insane, crazy shit, maybe you should still, you know, think about it for a second. Investigate. Before you throw it away. Yeah, investigate. Some of this See stuff if there's sounds water like to it. It couldn't be true, but yeah, investigate. Turns out it is. Yeah, it's just like, yeah, sir, yeah Alex Jones, you know, as many people as decried it. He, he said a lot of crazy stuff that is not true. But there is some stuff that he did point out years ago. That pedophile shit, that Jeffrey Epstein shit. Yeah, he was, he was on top it. of it. Yeah. He wants that shit gone, and I applaud him for it. Yeah, and it is real. I mean, there's some levels of fame and money and success that people get to, and, and just, like, they don't understand what it is to be a normal person. Their, their abilities to feel emotions and things like that just don't register unless they're doing some fucked up shit you know that triggers extreme emotion well yeah well yeah i mean they become more apathetic yeah i mean apathy is a very dangerous a very dangerous way for the mind human mind to go because the more apathetic we get the less sympathy we have for our fellow human compatriots. Yeah. And but again, there's that spectrum. There's way too much and way too little. Yeah. But um, yeah, just don't go ahead and take judgment on something because it's something that you can't believe at first. Because again, fact is stranger than fiction a lot of times. Yes, it is. Which the reason why we're talking about this is because uh, the odd ones out did a conspiracy th- conspiracy theories and crazy people video. And we were like, hey, that sounds like us. Let's give it a shot. Yeah. So uh, here it we is. go. <laughs> At my Subway, you would spend your entire five to six hour work shift with only one other person. And you didn't get to pick that peculiar partner you were spending your precious period with. So that meant I was stuck with some crazy characters. And one of those characters was really, really into that new age snorting healing crystals kind of stuff. And he would specifically talk to me about it because uh, I was the only other person there. And all okay, we could do for fun okay, was- I had one of those. Yeah, I, I I worked at this I worked at this uh this uh care state this care place uh, in Big Stone Gap uh, is where we took care of people who were who did not have the mental capacity to oh, take care of themselves. I know where that's at. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I Near worked the up there. Yeah, I worked up there, and I pretty much had to stay overnight. Uh, and it was me and another person, and we had to just pretty much make sure they stayed in bed, and if they made a mess, we clean it up, and we also feed them breakfast, and then we leave. Um, I sat there one night, and this woman, I swear to God, for like three weeks straight, every night was telling me about how, oh, these crystals, when they vibrate, they they heal me, you know, they, 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 they grant me intelligence and this and that, and I'm like... You know, please, how please, works. please tell me, please, sure. God, tell me this woman will not reproduce. Please, please do not let this woman reproduce. And uh, was it like, did she have like some kind of ritual planned out? Was it like the dark crystal where the roof opens up and then the light shines into the crystal and she just stands there and like, ah. No, instead she had this little baggie that she had her crystals in. And I'm like, what kind of, uh, and me, just, just to placate. Now, was just, this crystal meth? No, okay. no, 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 no. All right. Uh, I said a little baggy, and I was like. No, a little, <laughs> if it were a little plastic baggy, and I could see the crystals in the, the crystal meth in there, I'd just been like, 
honey, you need some help. Yeah. It's like, you say they give you energy. I have no put doubt about that. Down. Yeah. Yeah. Down. Put the pipe down. But it's my healing energy. <laughs> Maybe that's what that all is. You know, all this cri- talk of crystals and shit like that. It's like, oh, this is this is what heals me. My magic crystals. And all of a sudden, one person opens it up and it's just like, it's just crystal meth. <laughs> but, uh, but no, I, just to, just to, like, my first time asking, I was just like, so what kind of crystals do you have in there? She opens this thing up and pours out, I get, I, I shit you not, like 13 to 14 crystals, and she went on this diatribe about every single one of them. It's like, this one right here, I found in a quarry, and I took it to my Pet healer. Rocks, man. People yeah, I took, it, I took it to my healer, and my healer told me that this is my energy stone. She said where I was drawn to it. She knew it gave me she energy. She could have been a big Sui Kauden fan. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. But, no. yeah, I had one like that. Sorry to interrupt. I, Yeah, I, I, I sorry. I was watching Bread Rise. Since I was contractually obligated to stay, I would just listen to him <laughs> ramble about how he thought the universe worked. He told me about chakras and how easy it was to open your third eye through LSD. He told me about scrying using black mirrors and that it's a common misconception that you can get stuck in the mirror, but that's just a myth that doesn't actually happen. Which is a good thing because getting stuck in a mirror is something I'm constantly worried about as an adult. (laughs) Oh, and he told me that every illness is in your head and that hospitals can already cure anything, but they're not going to because if they cure you, they're going to lose a customer. So he's just going to stick to his essential oils and non-vaccinated immune system. Thank you very much. Listen. You can believe whatever uh, you want to believe, as long as it's not hurting yourself no, or others, loves. okay? I'm upset. But denying modern medicine? No. No. No, you, you can't do that. No. Since there were still four hours of the workday left and I didn't want to argue with him, that. I would just respond with, uh-huh. He didn't do crack or meth or any hard drugs that I know of that would alter his perception of reality. Even though he didn't trust hospitals or doctors, he really believed in the benefits of medical marijuana. If you're ever wondering what kind of person is making your sandwiches, yes, they did give this guy a license to touch your food. Whoa, dude. My sandwich tastes like colors. I learned something about myself that day, and that is, I'm obsessed (coughs) with crazy people. Even though I didn't believe a word he said, I would still ask him questions just to get him talking. Wait, so you're telling me that everything in Naruto is real? Something about talking to him and hearing his perspective was fascinating. This human that I share a planet with exists. What (laughs) is a crazy person? A crazy person is not someone who has a weird hobby or owns a pet snake. A crazy person is someone who, despite having an astronomical amount of evidence pointing to one idea, Hey, in the in. I'm not a psychologist, and maybe I should have consulted one before making this video, the odd ones but in. I think crazy people have an unhealthy amount of unchecked distrust and paranoia. I don't know where to even begin talking to crazy people. Their worldview is just so much different than mine. A crazy person will think that someone who has no reason to is lying. NASA's lying about the moon landing. I don't trust NASA. Hospitals are lying about medicine. I don't trust doctors. The government's lying about... Well, a lot of things. They're lizard people. Okay. I do agree the government is lying about a lot of stuff. Are they lizard people? Not all of them. <laughs> government lies about a lot of shit, dude. Even the Freedom of Information Act doesn't give us all the answers. I mean, that's the killer thing. <sighs> all right. Sorry. Okay, that one might be true. Thankfully, I don't personally know any crazy people. Alchemy! Well, okay, some of my friends are oh, into Cthulhu. astrology, but they still get vaccinated. Get ocean, so, you, you know, you win some, you lose some. However, on the internet, there's an overwhelming abundance of crazy people. I'm guessing crazy people don't go outside because they think the government will target them with directed energy weapons or something. <laughs> yeah, only crazy people stay inside wasting hours of their life behind computer screens. <laughs> One of my guilty pleasures is that while I'm working, I will listen to crazy people talk for hours. It's weirdly my version of ASMR. <laughs> Good man. <laughs> uh, you must listen to the Joe Rogan experience. <laughs> I like, do. Listen to Joe Rogan talk about, like, I guarantee if an alien ever came on there, just hey, be like, hey, hey. See that soccer ball in that lamp right there, boy? Yeah. I told you soccer ain't real. Yeah. Don't nobody believe in that. You're, yeah, it's... They don't really play that thing. Run around kicking a ball. Come on, man. Come on, man. So, actually, funnily enough, I... (laughs) 
Oh, I watched I watched a, a video about uh, soccer play about soccer the other night, and it was like talking about the greatest like soccer players of all time. And then in my head, I was secretly thinking, do these people really exist, or am I just being like having the wool pull over my eyes by some like massive conglomerate who makes me want to think that you know Diego Maradona actually did punch the soccer ball into the goal, you know, with the hand of God. Hint, hint, he did. Um, <laughs> Soccer ain't real, boy. No, you're right. All them countries, Football is real. All them countries get together and play a game and don't fight. I don't believe in it. Oh, they fight. You should see the hooligans in the crowds. It's Holy shit. Dude, you should see them fight. Dude, there was one hooligan fight I saw one time. It was like uh, West Ham versus uh, Millwall, I think. Holy hell. Bottles being thrown. Bricks being thrown. <clears throat> pylons being thrown. Like, they were, like, like trying to kill each other. Fake news. <laughs> Actually, I heard uh, there's a guy who has that on a soundboard. Uh, he uses that, like, during games of Call of Duty when people are talking too much. He's like, quiet, quiet, be quiet, quiet. And then, like, there was one guy who had a comeback. Uh, he's like, quiet, quiet, quiet. And the guy's like, shut the fuck up, bro. You're just a soundboard. And he hits, you are fake news. Yeah. Like, perfect. It was perfect. Sorry, but back to it. I've tried listening to podcasts and audiobooks or anything that's good for my brain, but there's something so fascinating about listening to a 50-year-old <coughs> genuinely tell you about his alien abduction. And it only has 300 views? This man was contacted by aliens, people. Why isn't he on the cover of Time Magazine? YouTube Hilarious. will teach you everything you need thing. to know about aliens. Did you know that aliens traveled millions of light years to build pyramids, stomp on our corn, and abduct a couple of crackpots? There's videos of people who will tell you in full confidence about the gray and praying mantis aliens living among us. I mean, the videos barely have any views, but they exist. Most of the views are from me. <laughs> Okay, all of them. I don't <laughs> understand how people and think me. the moon landing was faked. There is so much evidence proving that the moon isn't even real. Wake up, sheeple! I gotta be honest, I don't think flat earthers are real. I think they're all just a bunch of trolls trying to get people like me to hate humanity. I'm a rocket scientist. I've been saying that for years! I've been saying that for years! That trolls, uh, it's just a bunch of trolls. Like all these people who go to these conventions and everything... Like, one day they're just going to start busting out laughing and just be like, <laughs> no, can you dude. believe that shit? I, well, I don't know what documentary it was I watched about, like, the people involved with Flat Earth, but these motherfuckers think they're celebrities, bro. They're There's not- a couple of them that have, like, made four-hour-long YouTube videos and go to all these conferences and shit, and they're just like, I was, I was a leader in the Flat Earth movement. It's like, motherfucker, the leader in the Flat Earth... What about the people way back in the day? Everyone thought the Earth was flat. Y'all are the most yeah, unoriginal motherfuckers ever. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah I, keep hearing that. I keep hearing that too. It's like, it's like I was one of the first to believe that. Bitch, the Earth you must was have flat. been in a time machine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> must have gone back like, like before Aristotle discovered that the Earth was round over two thousand years ago. Are you I just, serious? Vanity and insanity. No, it is. Well, it's just like, uh, well, uh, it's like Hollywood keeps pushing like all this vanity shit on people. It's just like, it's like, I remember this one studio exec was just like, this is the first film to feature a homosexual kiss on screen. And I'm like, oh no, when people were talking about the, uh, um, uh, what was it? The first in Star, Star Wars. Wars. The, the, yeah, the Star Wars movie, the, the newest one. Yeah, or Rise not of the, Skywalker. Yeah, 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 Rise of Skywalker. It's like, that it's one. the first one. It's like, in a Star Wars movie. Woo! Bitch, Star Trek was way on Deep Space Nine, Voyager. God. There's a black lead male and a white female lead right there. Both of them captains. Both of them badass motherfuckers. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. And also, Cisco, hey, let's not- Cisco, Captain Cisco was the Deep Space Nine one. Uh, I can't remember the Voyager one because I just got into Voyager, but well, dude, Voyager's okay. It's okay. Deep um, Space Nine was the shit. Yeah, DS Nine. Well, every Star Trek series. I mean, like, I know a lot of people love the original series. To me, it's a bit too dry. I'm not good with it. Uh, Next Generation, awesome. My Deep shit. Space Nine, awesome. Yes. Picard. I've actually watched a bit of Picard. Yeah. Dude, it's not bad. It's got some pretty good stuff in it. It's okay. I wish they wouldn't have made it so much about the border crisis. 
that yeah that to me it's is just, just a bit like it's look, all about immigration reform and i'm like look man i i get that's a big deal but i'm watching star trek right now yeah i i want to yeah. <laughs> like like it's like i know you're trying to influence me and i'm all i'm going to say is i don't care i i really could care less i mean there's way too much complex shit going on out there in the world let i mean let's let's just, I'm not trying to act like I'm a professional about this shit. No, it's like either. super important, you know. Well, it well it is but. super important. I mean, it is important to talk about that stuff. But what but is my is opinion fantasy. amount? What does my opinion on that amount to? I don't know shit about that. Fucking, I haven't even graduated from college yet. I haven't been Neither educated in that shit enough. Neither have I. All I all I have is the information that's available to me by news sources with agendas. And here's a conspiracy. And isn't that it's horse shit. It's all horse shit. God. We can't shut up about this stuff. All right, let's move on. Sorry. But I know that our understanding of space and gravity is so beyond what shape the Earth is. I'm amazed how much free information is available to people, but they still choose not to believe it. So I'm sorry. I just can't accept that flat earthers are real. I mean, I have nothing to back up this idea, though. I guess it's just a crazy theory of mine. Wait, here's a lighthearted conspiracy for you. Some people think that the creators of the Sonic movie purposely made the design of Sonic bad oh. in the first trailers as a marketing ploy. Everyone was outraged about the bad designs and ended up talking about it, giving the movie free promotion. Meanwhile, the executives were planning to use the better designed Sonic all along. The evidence for this is... Well, I'm talking about the Sonic movie right now, so I'm contributing to the theory that this was all for <laughs> publicity. Another piece of evidence is... Look at this. What is this? There's no way that any executive or anyone with two eyeballs would okay this. Dragon ever. Ball Evolution came out, motherfuckers. Uh, exactly, that's what I have to say. <laughs> uh, I have evidence actually to say uh, the production house that reworked Sonic's design uh, that actually went out of business because of the amount of money that was spent. Uh, yeah, that that actually happened. They had to re they had to redo it, and the company that ha that was paid to redo it was actually put under so much stress and everything that the business actually shut down. Shit. And like and it look, was a hit. Oh, it was. It was a hit. I mean, it's way bigger hit than they expected. And also, anyone out there who says an executive, you know, an exec like what executive would okay that, dude? Hollywood executives are freaking idiots. Especially when it comes to shit like this. Exactly. Exactly. Why else do you think it took so long for them to make good comic book movies? They were forced to wipe their own ass this they, time. Yes. So, good. Yes. Oh, and I, and I also love when people came out of the woodwork and said, Oh, you're just giving the people what they want. Why would you do that? You know, a bunch of racist, homophobic, sexist... Oh, it's like... Dude. I almost got up. No, 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 no. That's too much effort. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm just like, I'm like, are you serious? Like, you're really going to start, like, start hamming on about this shit? Aren't we past this? Ah, uh, no, dude. People just want to bitch. That's all it is. Yeah. We're in a complainer's uh, generation. A bunch of bitches. Exactly. Yeah. Tell people coronavirus is real. It's just like, coronavirus isn't real. It's like, okay. Dude. The lead singer from Romstein, dude. Did you see he's fucked I heard, up yeah. right now? Yeah, I heard about that. Damn, dude. And I was going to see Romstein in August. Not Romstein, dude. Not that guy. Well, yeah, I know. He... That sucks. Yeah. I hope he recovers. I hope he does. And I hope that when he does recover, he comes over here. I'm to ready that for shit. all that, all this bullshit. Yeah, I, I want all this bullshit to just pass us by. There's already been, like, there's already been too many people die from this shit. Not a doubt. So, hey, don't be a COVID idiot. That's all I'm going to say. Stay the fuck inside, you dumb mother. And honestly, I might have believed this conspiracy theory if this movie didn't exist. If it wasn't <laughs> for the Cats movie, I would have thought Freaked Hollywood knew what out, they were doing dude. too. I hated but because it's current year... And these types of things can still get past test screenings? I think sometimes Hollywood is just no good. I could be totally wrong, though. If anyone watching worked on this movie and wants to be a whistleblower, <laughs> let me know in the comments. Another rabbit hole I fell down was discovering a group of people called 
targeted individuals. Targeted individuals are a group of people that think the government is sending NSA agents to harass them. Oh, and this wait. isn't just the American government. It turns out that yeah. every government in the world is harassing random citizens. They claim that they're being harassed because the government is trying to silence them for speaking the truth, when in reality, they're not speaking anything remotely true. A targeted individual will say things like, People keep following me. There's a white van that's been parked in front of my house for hours. The government's been using electromagnetic radiation to transmit sounds and thoughts into my head. And the whole time I'm watching these people, I'm thinking, Yo, that sounds like schizophrenia, my dude. I don't know your life. Maybe you just got out of a really bad cult and you do have stalkers following you. Okay, yes, that happens. But it's not the government. One targeted individual I saw said that the government attacked them with a directed energy weapon and that they've been having migraines and coughing up blood. And I'm just flabbersmacked that someone actually believes this. How do you tell them, yo, the government's not harassing you. You probably have something going on in your digestive system. You need to see a doctor and a psychiatrist. And it's easy to point and laugh and make fun of these people, but after hearing their stories, I just feel bad for them. They are going through some major mental stuff, and I think they just need a friend to talk to. Most conspiracies can be disproven with a little bit of research, so it's important to think critically and not immediately believe everything you hear online. And if there's not enough data to make a judgment, then it's okay to say, I don't know, or I need to look into this further before making a conclusion. Viral misinformation Damn. good shit, James. everybody, so it's important to do research, tests, and evaluations to form a concrete judgment before you hit that retweet button. There is one conspiracy theory, I believe, and that is that Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill- <laughs> Are there any but conspiracy see, theories like that- Everybody believes that shit for it the is most part. No, no, well, yeah, it's true. And and it's still considered a conspiracy theory, though, despite... Uh, oh, boy. I just got a message. Uh-huh. In video recording now, or we will find you. Just joking. It's not... It, it was something. <laughs> and he's gone. He's gone. Chad's gone. Ugh. So, oh, oh, forgot to finish the video. You believe in? Feel yeah, free to rethink back. your life choices. Fake. What did I just fake. say? If you follow me on Twitter or Instagram, then you know that I'm unfortunately postponing most of my book tour until further notice. I'm still planning on going to Bedford, Massachusetts, Springfield, Pennsylvania, and BookCon in New York City at the end of May. If you bought a ticket to an event, then you'll have to call the bookstore to get a refund or have them honor the old ticket when we reschedule. Keep in mind that these booksellers are dealing with a lot right now, so please give them a few days to sort this all out. I'll be posting updates of the situation on my Twitter and Instagram, so be on the lookout for anything new. And with that, I want to announce that I'm going on another tour called Scribble Showdown. I know I just postponed my book tour, so it's probably a weird time to be announcing another tour, but hopefully things will be sorted and dealt with by the end of July. As always, I want to say thanks to my amazing team who worked on this video. I don't think I can thank totally them all enough, as I am paying them an exposure. Thank you for watching, everyone. Be sure to wash your hands and wear your seatbelt. Is this due to furry? No. Okay. No, but they try and, like, throw the tag on. See, that's the thing about furries. They try to throw their tag around anyone who's famous. Anyone who's famous. Or their They're, collar. Yeah. They try to throw, like, the collar around anybody who's famous to try and just justify means of existence you don't have to have someone famous to justify your means of existence so I mean, like how far do you have to go to be a furry if i were to just like grow massive pubes would that count no at that point you just what i think some people like would the call Zohan, mine is the biggest yes yeah and like all of a sudden he has that one dude look down the front of his head. he's like it's not that big it's like no no no, no the bush the bush the bush is the biggest <laughs> it provide cushion Fuck the furries. Who gives a shit? Yeah. Oh, God. Now we're going to... Yeah, there's a few downvotes. Oh, well. Who cares? I don't. I mean, fuck me. You know? Who gives a shit about me either? It's not like I seriously hate them or anything. <clears throat> I think people should be able to do whatever they want. I agree. I agree 100%. It's just people want... You know, tribalism, dude. That's just how it's always been throughout history. Tribalism has always prevailed throughout because we're we're human. We're yeah. creatures. We're mammals. It's just how we are. We're all lucky to be here. Exactly. Yeah. So.
Some would say hashtag blessed. <laughs> yeah, throw that little salt. Like After I scratch my dander if I just go. Oh no 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 no. It's a furry joke. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> you're killing me, Smalls. Ah, uh, well, yeah, conspiracy theories and crazy people. I mean, I think we are all. I think you and I can both. Yeah. I think we can throw ourselves at a lot of a bunch of crazy people and conspiracy theorists. It's don't, true. Like, there's some that I believe, some I don't believe, but yeah, and uh, and that's that's pretty much all I can say about that. So, hope you all enjoyed this, and I hope that James and uh, everyone uh, everyone who works for Odd Ones Out is uh, doing well and is uh, taking care of themselves in the midst of this uh, global wide pandemic crisis and. Uh, I hope that we will see more of James and uh, them very soon because I guess we're James at home now. Now he can just do nothing but work on this all the time. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's going to do it for this one. And until next time, signing off, I'm Nate. I'm Chad. And Epstein did not kill himself.